Hello everyone, and welcome to an introduction to the Telerik and Kendo UI kits for Figma. You can use them out of the box, or modify them to create your own design system, that matches your brand identity and product needs. You can find the Telerik and Kendo UI kits in the progress page of the Figma community, at figma.com slash at progress. Three kits are available that match the three Kendo UI themes, the default, and the ones based on bootstrap and material design. Just duplicate the one you want, and you already have your own version to start with. Each kit consists of components and building blocks, perfectly matching the corresponding development components. You can finally speak the same language with your development counterpart from the get-go. Enable them to easily implement your designs in the most modern and popular frameworks, such as React, Angular, jQuery, Blazor, Vue and .NET Core. Now, let's have a closer look at the kit, starting with the pages on the left. First, we have the Getting Started page that guides you and gives a brief description of the three most important pages that you will need to work with. Building Blocks, Components and Variants, and Unite UX Export Preview. In the Change Log page, you can find a log of the updates and improvements for each version of the kit, as well as the new components added. The Styles page lists all the typography, colors, and effects, as well as descriptions of the usage, and the unique token names. Design tokens are the primitive values, needed to construct and maintain a design system, represented by context agnostic names. A design token can represent a hex value, typography parameter and more. By using design tokens, instead of hard-coded values, the design system will be flexible, consistent, and maintainable. A change of a value under a token, will propagate to every single instance in the UI kit, where this token has been used. To modify or create a new design token, open the style menu. You can edit a token style by clicking on the edit style icon or add a new one by clicking the Add Styles button. Back to the next page of the kit, the Icons page. This is where all icons used in the Telerik and Kendo UI components are. They are grouped logically, and converted into components. The icons are vector paths, which allows you to easily customize them. The Components and Variants page is where you'll find the ready-to-use components for your application design. We have presented all their states and variants. Also, we enable you to set a library to use in various application scenarios you work on. The components are arranged in frames, starting from the basic components like buttons and inputs, and continuing to more complex ones such as the grid and the scheduler. The UI kit is built with the atomic design principle in mind, so the complex components reuse the basic ones. That's why we suggest that you start customizing the UI kit from the top left of the page, down to the right. In that way, the changes you apply at the top, will automatically be inherited by the complex components, making your job much faster. All components are made of building blocks, listed in the base or structural components page. This architecture allows you to propagate global changes to the metrics, paddings, and border radius of all components, with just a few clicks. Then, the Scenarios page illustrates potential usage of the components in more complex scenarios, and with customized data. These are examples of usage in the actual application design process. And last but not least, is the Unite UX Export Preview page. Here, we have filtered all components and states from the components and variants page that are needed by developers working with Unite UX. During the export and handoff process of the Unite UX plugin, you only need to export frames from this page. Notice that all components on that page are instances of the main components, so make sure to directly edit the main component instead. Changes will be applied here as well. Thank you for watching this video and using the UI kit. 